Welcome to the Harper Classroom. I'm Dr. Harper. This lecture video is on Project Management, Waisaki Project Portfolio Management, PPM. This video is based on Chapter 17, Project Portfolio Management, of the book Effective Project Management by Waisaki, 7th edition, with a focus on the project portfolio life cycle. To introduce the project portfolio management, let's start with some definitions. A project is a collection of activities that are managed to achieve a specific goal. A project portfolio is a collection of projects that have a common purpose, objective, or some common link that can be identified as having business value. In some cases, a portfolio can be a collection of programs consisting of projects. But whether a portfolio is a collection of programs or projects, here the important distinction is that a project portfolio, however it is defined, is managed to provide business value to the organization. A project portfolio life cycle is a structured approach to the creation, management, and modification of a project portfolio that enhances business value and promotes continual organizational improvement. And Waisaki develops this structured approach in five project stages, which he calls the Project Portfolio Life Cycle. And this video presents an introduction to some of the content in each of these five stages. I say only some of the content because there may be other content that would be more appropriate depending on the type of project. But the importance of the Project Portfolio Life Cycle, I believe, is a structured approach to project portfolio management that Waisaki has found to be successful throughout his past experiences. So let's look at each stage. The five project stages are coordinated to manage a project portfolio according to this flowchart. So let's proceed through this flowchart and consider each stage. Establish. Consider strategic models that will be used to build a project portfolio that will align the resources with the business position. Waisaki identifies four models as examples. The Boston Consulting Group Product Services Matrix, BCG Matrix, identifies the probability of success, high and low, and the net present value, high and low, and places projects within the cells, categories, buckets that will enhance the market position. The Project Distribution Matrix considers the strategic, tactical, and operational focus of projects and place the projects in a cell based on whether they are new, enhancement, or maintenance type of project to allocate resources that enhance a particular business strategy. The Growth Survival Model, where projects are considered either growth to enhance the business position or survival to sustain a business position. But the mix of projects will support the business position now and for the future. The Project Investment Categories Model coordinate resources within a business strategy by identifying projects as infrastructure, maintenance, new products, research, with a focus on the effective utilization of the resources. Once a strategic model has been identified in the established stage, the life cycle proceeds to the evaluate stage. Evaluate. Assign projects to models that includes funding allocations. Objective. Assign projects to the model selected in the established stage, where the assignment results in projects placed in cells, groups, categories within the model, with funding assigned to that group from the funding categories. Structure. Projects are proposed by identified proposing parties to an intake committee that will receive the proposals and continue the evaluation process. The process. The decision process that will align projects to the business strategy contained in the business strategic model can include formal decision models from decision theory or informal negotiations between the proposing parties and the intake committee. The result of the evaluation stage is projects aligned to the business strategy or projects rejected, or projects going through a revision, which goes back to the project proposal process. But once the projects are evaluated and aligned within each cell, the life cycle moves to the prioritized stage. 
the prioritize stage. Prioritize projects for implementation where the projects that have been placed in each group in the evaluate state are prioritized based on numeric or non-numeric techniques that use quantitative data or qualitative information. Waisaki identifies three non-numeric techniques and three numeric techniques. The four strength technique, each project portfolio management team member ranks each of the projects, the ranks are summed, and then the sums are, are ranked, and that's a forced ranking. The Q sort takes all the proposals, divides them into two groups, high and low, and then divide each group into two, and then each of those is divided, and they continue on until they have the lowest division desired. The must do, should do, postpone is Waisaki's version of the must have, should have, could have, won't have, which is referred to as Moscow. So he divides this up into three groups. Under criteria weighting, which is not part of this video, the criteria are weighted and each project is measured according to the criteria. And then there's a weighted score and the scores are then ranked. For paired comparisons, if the left-hand side project is judged to be more important than the right-hand side project, place a 1 in the matrix. Otherwise, place a 0. And the upper triangular matrix must correspond with the lower triangular matrix according to the logical relationships. Then you sum the rows and rank the sums. For the risk-benefit, the probability of technical success is calculated for each project and the probability of business success and the definition of technical and business success can certainly change with different projects. And high probability on both would be a go project. Low probabilities on both would be a no-go project. And anything in the middle is a questionable project. And once the projects have been prioritized within each cell, then the life cycle moves to the select stage. The select stage. Create a balanced portfolio. And Waisaki suggests the Graham England selection model. But in this select stage, a balanced portfolio refers to a balance between the prioritized project list that are prioritized according to the types of project and the funding allocations and the business value indicated in the strategic business models from the established stage. And the Graham England selection model is used to balance the portfolio through the steps of what should we do, what can we do, what will we do, and how will we do it? The output of this selection stage is the final portfolio for implementation. And that moves us to the manage stage. Manage, monitor and control the portfolio. And here's where we have performance measurements. We start with monitoring the performance of a project and we look at the scope, time, cost, quality, uh, the EVA analysis, we have events and the trends of the schedule performance index and cost performance in index and the different patterns that we might see. The critical path method with the slack and resource allocations. But then we look at the project plan on plan, off plan, or it's in trouble. Then we compare with the project portfolio, the active projects with the new projects. And so here we look at the interior of a project and here we evaluate the overall project and here we look at the project with the portfolio. The output of the manage stage is a completed project, a canceled project, or a postponed project which goes back to the prioritized stage where the postponed projects are prioritized with the aligned projects for input into the select stage. The project portfolio lifecycle with five project stages can be valuable in managing a portfolio. But Waisaki points out that this life cycle can be modified to accommodate agile type projects. So the Agile Project Portfolio Lifecycle indicates that projects can go from the Manage stage to the Select stage in addition to the Prioritize stage. Here's one explanation of this modification. In an Agile project, the goal is clear and the prioritization of the project based on its goal has already been made in the Prioritize stage. But for an Agile project, the solution is not clear. And in an iterative or adaptive Agile project, the modification of the solution through iterations or cycles may indicate a change in the project that is significant enough to impact the balance of the portfolio. Therefore, the project would be sent to the select stage for possible changes in the portfolio. And the possible portfolio changes will then modify the Graham England selection model. 
And the Agile version will be what projects should do, what projects can we do, what projects will we do, and then how will the portfolio look and how is the portfolio doing, where projects or active projects will go back with the new projects, and there's where you change your selection of your portfolio. This life cycle defines a structure of five stages within which to manage a portfolio. But in addition to the structure, Waisaki correctly points out the need for management support, which is contained in the PSO, the Project Support Office, where the PSO can support the project sponsor and project manager through the processes of project proposals, project submissions and revisions, and the PSO can support the portfolio manager in the five phases of designing the phases, management of the phases, and governance of the phases. So the PSO can be a key resource for the effective application and ultimate success of the project portfolio life cycle within an organization. This ends the lecture video on Project Management Waisaki, Project Portfolio Management PPM. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.